Hello everybody, this is Jonathan Ryerson back behind the camera again, okay? <clears throat> and some people are wondering, how do you wire up a fire alarm to a pole station? And I know several people has filmed that before, and, and I understand some people have not, but I'm going to cover it all in this video, and this is a bait... This is a tutorial video how to wire up a fire alarm to a pole station without a panel. So most people can power up their alarms with a a pair of batteries or a 24 volt DC power supply or something like that, but we're going to cover it all in this video. And right now I have a lamp that's shining down on my floor so I can show you guys how to wire up a fire alarm in a pole station together. So that way when you pull the pole station the alarm will go off and kick into life and we're gonna do that. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is get a 12 volt DC or 24 volt DC power supply. This one is 24 volts but I don't know if you could see by the label, but um, this is a 24-volt uh, DC power supply. It's a, it's a ULL power supply, and the model is SAW30-200. I mean... 1200 U. So this thing puts out 24 volts filter DC, so that's perfect. That's what we need. And you have two sets of wires right here. The wire with with the stripes right here, the white, the gray lines, that's your negative, and the wire that has nothing is your positive. So anyways, let's go ahead and wire up this pull station first so first thing you want to do is flip it over and then you want to put your your negative in the red terminal right here let me zoom in on that so you could see it so what you want to do is I know some people may get confused but there's your negative, which is red, and your positive is black. I know it's reversed, but oh well. So anyways, let's put your negative wire in here. And then, where did I put my screwdriver? Here it is. What you want to do is take a screwdriver and tighten it down. And then, next, you want to take a remaining wire lead, which is, which is a little bit long, and then you insert one end of this wire lead into the negative, I mean, the positive terminal. And then, you screw it down and tighten it. Okay, the pole station wiring is complete. And next, you take the other end of this remaining wire lead that's connected to the pole station. You go from the positive, and you want to connect this wire. See the mounting bracket? So here's your terminals right here. This is your negative and these are your positives so you only need one positive so basically what this is is you could put a resistor right across if you really want to but um, I don't know if you should but th because this is not in a fire alarm control panel okay so you want to put your wire lead in this negative right here and then make, sh make sure you screw it down nice and snug so the wire doesn't come loose or anything like that or it touches anywhere else 
shorting everything out and that's what you don't want. So you want to make sure the term, and I don't know why my screwdriver is not liking this type of screw, but you want to tighten it down nice and tight, but not too tight where it over tightens it, and the wire is nice and snug. And the next thing you want to do is take your other, take your positive, take your positive wire and insert it into the positive whoops I didn't tighten this down enough there we go and now you want to take your positive and insert it into the positive lead in the positive terminal into the mounting bracket and then you tighten it down and now whoops let me try again. Let me in reinsert the wire because it's not tight enough. <gasps> yeah, this is stranded wiring, and don't worry, yes, the power's unplugged. I should have used a power supply that has solid wiring, not stranded wiring. Okay, that's under the terminal, good. And then, you tighten it down. And the next step is, put your fire alarm and snap it in. And then you flip over the pole station. Make sure the wires are not touching anything. And now every the wiring is complete. And now we're ready to apply power. So we're going to plug it into my surge suppressor. And we're going to pull the pole station, see if it works. Okay, power's on, and now, for the moment of truth, let's test it. And that completes the job. Now that is how you wire up a fire alarm to a pole station by, without a panel by using a 24 volt DC power supply or a pair of batteries. Okay, that's getting bright. Let's reset the pull station. You can also flip the switch up or you can just open it and close the pull station as usual. Let's give it one more pull. Now that's how you wire up a pull station to a fire alarm. <clears throat> so I basically picked these two devices because I just wanted to make this video tutorial um, simple as possible. So wiring up this fire alarm was super easy and I'm so happy that I was able to show you guys how to do it and and basically so that so hopefully that answers your question and hopefully that makes all your guys' struggles with wiring up fire alarms go away. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and that's it.